At Northern California's Ramar Foods, workers carefully pick and place Filipino foods like these dumplings. Right next to them is my pal, a robot for rent that works at twice the speed of humans. This is actually the first time the robot is testing out an attachment that can pick up three buns at once. With the help of artificial intelligence algorithms, it should be able to learn and perfect this new method by the end of the day. Robotics as a service with uh, Rios Intelligent Machines is actually competitive with a labor force. And uh, naturally, it's, uh, it comes with a whole lot of other benefits. We can treat a robot a little bit differently. We would never ask our, our employees to say, OK, now double your pace. But the robot can do that, and it definitely won't complain. In an economy filled with labor shortages, Casada currently has 10 job openings. So he says it's vital to make sure his employees feel their robot colleague enhances their work too. Because at the end of the day, the, the easy part is choosing the robot and where it's going to go. And it's fun to train it and all, but that could all be for naught if the team that's going to be working around it isn't on board. Robots are also increasingly becoming part of warehouse inspections and even art gallery tours. The telepresence robots are created at Omni Labs in Silicon Valley. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the company moved to a larger headquarters so it could triple its robot production. It even builds its own 3D printers to make its specialized parts. When everybody else had to shut down their operations, we increased capacity. As our robot is being deployed in healthcare, in manufacturing, in retail, is that we learn a lot. And from these learnings, we were able to take it back and doing product development. With Omnilab's telepresence robots, there's really no excuse not to make yourself present at work in some way. All you have to do is have a shared link. I use the arrow keys to take control of one of the robots. And then I click to wherever I want to look. Hey guys, how are you doing? Ready for the interview? Yeah. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> and out of the pandemic came this an autonomous UVC disinfecting robot that can kill more than 99% of the coronavirus when passing by. Well, hospitals are always chronically understaffed. They don't have time. They're already so busy. They're so slammed. Now that you're asking me to disinfect 100 rooms a day, let's design the product that's best where you just put it in the room, hit one button, and walk out. You don't need to push around a 300-pound machine. Go says hospitals are buying their robots and cleaning companies renting them. Just one more example of how robots have become more affordable while also learning to be more effective partners with their human co-workers.